Okay, Dr. Henny LaRue, on behalf of the deciduous fruits uh, market, it's a very um, little known about market publicly. Uh, everybody has apples and pears and oranges and lemons and so on, but they, they're ignorant from where it comes. It's rather like turning the tap on at home and you know the water comes out, but not from where it comes. Do you, do you not find that with your organization? Yes, we do find it in a certain, uh, to a certain extent, but uh, uh, citrus is so widespread over South Africa, I believe most of the people do realize uh, where it comes from and uh, uh, it's, it's uh, produced in different areas, different varieties in different areas. It may be that uh, people in a specific area do not know the varieties uh, that's produced in, a, in another area. Citrus yes. is the largest uh, 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 exporter of fresh fruit from South Africa. Yeah, I, that, that's a surprising statistic, yeah. isn't it? It's a huge one. Yes. Yes, uh, I think it's 8,000 8, million rand, uh, so, uh, of which 45% goes into the EU. Why does it go into the EU? Uh, the EU has traditionally be, been our biggest market. Uh, we are sending fruit to about uh, 50 different markets all over the world. But uh, initially, being a, a, a British uh, uh, part of the British Empire, Empire uh, that, that was where the fruit, fruit was sent first. And I mean, the, the, the British just love our, our fruit, and so does, does the, the Europeans. It's, it's a, probably a bit of a silly question uh, uh, from ignorance here, but it's a very seasonal market, isn't it? It is a seasonal market, and we fit in very nicely in the off-season to the Northern Hemisphere's citrus. So we come in when they do not have citrus in, uh, uh, in the EU. Uh, we do clash a bit with the, uh, the early and the late uh, uh, citrus in those areas, but uh, no, we, uh, uh, it actually complements each other. Let's talk about the citrus and stay there for the moment with the black spot situation where the European Union banned our products there. That must have hurt. Uh, it, it was really a problem. Uh, it did not hurt that much so far because up until now we've got all the fruit into the market that, that we wanted to, to get in there. Uh, but it is a problem and the reason for that is that uh, we believe it's a cosmetic problem. Uh, all our scientific data, and it's not only the South African scientific data, it's also the scientific data from the US, from Brazil uh, and, and Australia, uh, shows that the disease cannot establish in the EU because of its Mediterranean climate. So uh, black spot has never established in any uh, country with a winter rainfall uh, climate and that's why we uh, believe it is not a threat to the EU. Let's try and define black spot for the ignorant, for those that don't know. Uh, black spot is a fungus, uh, uh, Flusticta uh, citricarpa, uh, which causes uh, uh, spots almost as uh, big as a needle uh, pin. Uh, pin. Uh, on, on the fruit, it's a little black spot. Uh, it uh, does not uh, uh, cause any da uh, harm to any human uh, person, uh, uh, not to the internal quality of the fruit itself. It is on the peel of the fruit only, and, and, and it looks ugly. But up until uh, 1992, we were allowed to, uh, three of these little spots on, on the fruit uh, and with no problem. So at that stage, it was a, a, a cosmetic problem, uh, which has since been changed by the EU to a phytosanitary problem. At, at this stage, uh, we uh, are allowed uh, five interceptions, and uh, after that five interceptions, there will be further discussions between the EU and South Africa. So we are busy exporting again? We are, look, we, we've never stopped exporting. We were closed down uh, at the end of uh, 2013 after our export stopped. Uh, so we were then closed down for 2013. We have never been closed for 2014. So uh, the, the, uh, uh, everything is going as normal, and up uh, until today, there's no, been no interceptions uh, of, of uh, any fruit with black spot uh, in the EU uh, in 2014. Where are the large citrus growing areas in South Africa? Uh, the biggest citrus growing area is in the Limpopo province, uh, followed by Mpumalanga, uh, the, uh, sorry, followed by the Eastern Cape. Uh, uh, Pumalanga and then uh, the Western Cape, the Citrus Dal area. It's climate re related and uh, uh, for example the Western Cape is an area which is free of, of Citrus black spot because it's a Medi Mediterranean climate. Uh, so we've never had any black spot in that area. We also didn't have any black spot in the Northern Cape but that is because it's so dry up in the Northern Cape. The farming community, how large is it in the citrus fruit uh, market? Because you're holding a symposium very shortly in the Drakensberg. Yes. And I was very curious when it came up because in all aspects of agriculture one doesn't really think of them as farmers. I'm not being rude to you, but it, 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 it was an afterthought. How big is it? We, we prefer it to be called producers 
uh, uh, rather than farmers because of the uh, connotation with, with a farmer uh, uh, not always being that clever. We believe that we've got uh, some of the most uh, clever people in, 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 in the country. So you divorce uh, from farmers? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, we are definitely citrus producers. I, I would say there's about 2,000 uh, uh, farms in South Africa. Uh, it, uh, uh, there's uh, 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 120,000 people working on, on these farms and it is sustaining about 600,000 uh, people. Uh, the, the Citrus uh, Symposium that we have is a Citrus Research Symposium. Uh, it is held from the 17th to the 20th of August uh, at the Champagne Sports Resort in KZN. And the whole idea with that is to give feedback on the previous two years research that was conducted by CR, the CRI group. Now if we talk about the CRI group, it's not only the researchers within CRI, it's also the, the whole group which consists of several universities, such as the University of Pretoria, Stellenbosch, Rhodes, uh, KZN, um, as well as the ARC, and there's also uh, 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 private uh, uh, researchers uh, 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 doing research work for the citrus industry with money that, that uh, comes from, from the citrus growers. You see, uh, our focus uh, during the symposiums were always uh, on the growers themselves, uh, the growers and the in, uh, industries that service the growers, such as the agrochemical industry, uh, the, the uh, uh, people who supply the irrigation uh, equipment, uh, that, that type of things. Um, so uh, our focus uh, were on, on, on those people. So it is the technical people from, from uh, within the citrus industry. Uh, it is uh, SAS, the SASCON members, which is the South African uh, Citrus and Subtropical Consultant uh, uh, Association. Uh, then it's uh, uh, SACNA, which is the South African Nursery Association. Uh, th they were there, or they are there uh, always. Um, and, and we've never uh, done this to try to attract attention uh, from, from public. Within the Citrus Growers Association, they have the Citrus Academy, uh, which uh, has about 70 bursaries, uh, uh, and, and all the, uh, most of those bursary students will also attend the symposium. And finally, let me ask you, how is the growth, in, uh, and I don't mean from the ground upwards, the growth in the industry of, of the citrus industry? The uh, citrus industry has been growing steadily. Uh, about 30 years ago we were exporting 30 million uh, 16 kg export cartons. Uh, it's up to 113 million at this stage, uh, which makes us the second largest exporter of citrus in the world. Uh, we're only the 13th largest producer of citrus, but uh, after Spain we are the largest uh, exporter of citrus. So you could still grow and create more we can grow, we can uh, create more job opportunities yes. uh, with the help of, of, uh, of the government. Uh, I believe that there is a bright future uh, for, for, for the citrus uh, to come. What do you want from the government? What is it you would desire from them? Uh, in the first place, we would like the uh, uh, registrar to, to, to come to the party to make sure that, uh, that there's not so many difficulties in, in registrations. Um, uh, that, 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 I would say, would, would be the first thing. Uh, the second thing, as I've already mentioned, that we need more controls at some of our, our uh, border, uh, borders uh, or, or entry points uh, to make, make people more aware of, of the diseases. There is a disease at the moment called Wang Lung Bing, uh, or Asian greening, that uh, is at the moment destroying the Flor Floridian citrus industry. Uh, it's also having a huge impact on the Brazilian industry, and if that disease gets in into South Africa, uh, it can uh, also destroy our citrus industry. Now, the problem is that there's other host plants, such as the curry plant, uh, that can carry this, uh, this disease. And this disease is also found in India, so if there's any uh, 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 people coming in from India bringing in uh, a curry plant, uh, they can introduce that disease into South Africa.